President Trump's campaign has filed two lawsuits in an effort to overturn election results here in Wisconsin. The state Supreme Court declined to take original jurisdiction in the president's first lawsuit, which alleges that thousands of votes in Milwaukee and Dane counties are illegal. That means his campaign will have to go through lower courts. His other lawsuit filed in federal court also asked to have the Republican controlled legislature intervene, picking Wisconsin's electors rather than the voters choosing. We're talking about all of this now with a President Trump campaign attorney, former judge Jim Troopas. We appreciate you being with us today. And first, I just want to start off by asking you, do you acknowledge that Joe Biden won the election? No. Why not? Well, because he didn't. I mean, he not with the legal votes. The legal votes counted in Wisconsin. He did not win this state. Well, and I'm curious. I can't speak for the rest of the country. I can't speak for the rest of the country, but I can speak for Wisconsin. That if the court acknowledges and agrees with our legal position vis-a-vis -vis, uh, various aspects of the voting, then the, the, this result would be different. So when we talk about legal votes, the answer is no, he did not win the state. Well, and that's the question about these legal votes, because this lawsuit that's now going to circuit court, it doesn't talk about fraud, but it really talks about the voting system overall in Wisconsin. The two biggest issues in this are ballots cast early and ballots cast by voters who claim to be indefinitely confined. So I guess what's the end game here? Are you trying to get the results overturned? The election system totally changed in Wisconsin? There are actually four categories, but we don't. That's quibble. There are two other categories. I was just I was just listing um, the two with the and, highest and, But totals. that's okay. That, I was just that's listing fine. the highest What I was going to say, Adrian, is that if there are two aspects to this, um, as I think a lot of people know, I, I was involved. Uh, I've been involved in public matters for a very long time. And I was actually involved in the commissions and the like that looked at these recount statutes and have been involved in the drafting of them. So when I say that the clerks or the Wisconsin Election Commission or others have willfully determined that they're not gonna follow those laws, then it's pretty apparent, and I think it's pretty apparent to the Supreme Court, we saw some of their opinions this week, that what you have is you have municipal clerks, Wisconsin Election Commission, some of the counties deciding to write their laws, however, their procedures, however they'd like. They're not entitled to do that. The second thing is, and it's very, very important because the language you just used is in fact similar to the language we're hearing everywhere. I understand that. But the Wisconsin law is very different than maybe some other places. Our legislature made a specific finding that when it came to uh, absentee votes, that there was a high probability of fraud, abuse, undue influence, and similar sorts of things. You can read it right there in the statute. And that as a consequence of that, and knowing that it would be very difficult later to say, you know, Joe was good, Fred wasn't, this ballot was good, this ballot wasn't, that there is a presumption in the statute that if you don't follow the statute, you've effectively committed fraud. So while we we call this uh, Ill improper, illegal mistakes and what have you, the statute actually presumes, as it should, that if you don't follow the rules, that those votes ought not be counted. And that was the legislature that made those decisions, not me, not the courts, not certainly not the Wisconsin Election Commission. But according to this lawsuit, then, I understand that you want your own early vote thrown out. Well, again, as a lawyer, you know, our job and my job is to represent my client. If there are consequences for a lawyer because of I've represented my client, that's the risk we all take. I mean, that's 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 in fact what I like to say good lawyers do. We don't consider our own interests. We consider the interests of our client, in this case, the president of the United States. And we take those positions and we argue for those positions that are beneficial to our client and that are not frivolous, but are straightforward. And in this case, quite straightforward and statutory. So then why didn't you think your vote should be illegal before when you were doing it? I was unaware of it. I was I, I was unaware of that. I mean, I you know, like many people, I think realistically, we rely on our municipal clerks and our Wisconsin Election Commission to set up rules that are in fact legal. They didn't. 
So are you, are you saying that the people who went in in good faith, they, they were thinking they were following the rules just like you, their vote should be thrown out? I, I think that's what the statute says. My own opinion is one thing, but let me be very clear here. Again, the statute is unequivocal. It uses the term mandatory. These rules are mandatory. And it is mandatory that the ballot not be counted, that does not comply with the absentee voting laws. And you know what's really fascinating to me, and it really is fascinating to me, why aren't people mad as can be at the Wisconsin Election Commission and the municipal and county clerks who did not follow the law? Instead, we somehow, we get, the, we get this idea that it's somebody else's fault, it's the fault of someone who's raising the illegal behavior? I mean, how about looking to the people who were responsible to conduct a fair and honest election in the state of Wisconsin and did not? All right, well, Jim Troopas, we appreciate you being on the show today. Thank you very much, Adrian. Coming up, Attorney General Josh Call on the harm he says the president's baseless attacks, as he calls them, are doing to our election system.